Hey what's up guys it's Justin here and today I've got the unboxing and first look for you of the Moto 360 smartwatch. Hands down the most convincing smartwatch we have seen yet for Android Wear. The Moto 360 is available in two different colors both black and silver and it will set you back at $250 though right now it seems quite hard to get your hands on one. But perhaps its most compelling feature is that it is the first Android Wear smartwatch to feature a circular display and it comes in at a diameter of 1.5 inches with a resolution of 320 by 290 and it is a capacitive touch screen LCD display. But whether you are a fan of Android Wear, the concept of that or not, you gotta admit that this watch looks very nice. And personally I actually skipped out on the LG G watch and the Samsung Gear Live as I'm usually not a watch wearer at all but when I saw the video first come out for the Moto 360 I thought it looked so cool that I had to test it out at some point. So without further ado let's get on with the unboxing. So the Moto 360 comes in a nice circular box and you can see that it has a very traditional look with a lot of customizable watch faces. Design was definitely Motorola's number one priority. And as you open it up you will see the watch itself and like I mentioned it does feature a 1.5 inch 320 by 290 LCD capacitive touch display. And as you move through the box you will also notice a wireless charging station which is really great so you can just set your watch on there and it kind of has a night mode so it is kind of intended for people to have that next to their bedside table and still be able to read information from the watch and the battery life is claimed to be at just about one day. Moving on you will also find the micro USB to wall adapter there so you just plug it into your dock and set your watch on it and it will charge very easily. But aside from that the only thing that is left in the box is just some quick start information on how to turn on your watch and just some information about the Moto 360 so let's just set that aside and take a closer look at the watch. So personally I went with the black watch and I kind of feel that the leather band on the silver one is just a little bit ugly in my opinion. So. I decided to go with the black one and I'm just going to give it a try with my OnePlus One and kind of give you my thoughts on that in a few days. So booting up the Moto 360 for the first time you will notice that there is a bit of a black strip on the bottom and some people will be bothered by that but that is kind of an area for the internals and if there wasn't to be a small black strip on the bottom that we'd have to live with the device probably will have a larger bezel. So I have to say the trade off is quite worth it as that edge to edge display looks very very good. And also kind of giving you my first impressions of the display, it is a 320 by 290 resolution and from looking at it closely you could definitely see all the pixels, it isn't any sort of retina display or anything, but in order to read information and just kind of use the watch, it is no problem at all. So now that we got the watch all set up, I'm kind of just giving you my first impressions of it. It is my first time using the watch and what Google has tried to go with with Android Wear is a card layout similar to Google Now where you're able to access notifications and basic information from your wrist. There's things such as weather, package tracker, just step tracker, health apps you can use, just a few things off the top of my head right now. But personally I'm not the biggest fan of using health tracking apps on my device but instead I would like to use the Moto 360 to track notifications, basic information such as weather, notifications, reminders, calendar and stuff like that and I think the Moto 360 is a perfect thing for that while maintaining a very classy look. And putting on the band for the first time, it is a very basic black leather band and I really don't have any complaints of it. I think the watch does look really nice on my wrist. Initially I was a little bit worried since I do have some pretty small wrists so I thought it would look really weird. But putting on the watch it seems fine and in general the leather is very comfortable and as you know they did also announce the metal strap that will be coming out in the near future at an additional cost. But aside from that, this has pretty much been an unboxing, first impressions, or overview, whatever you would like to call it, of the Moto 360 running Android Wear. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as it helps me out a bunch, and I'll see you all in the next one.